Hello, this is Mike, and this is PHP Programming Lesson 3. And today we're going to build a Hello World and talk about the operational trail of a PHP application. So let's start with the operational trail. What initially happens is when you uh, type something into a web browser, you get a request to your server. In this particular case, we're dealing with an Apache server because that's our, our WAMP system. And it has to go through and actually find that page. And once it finds that page, and you're, you're going to execute your PHP. And you go through that PHP process, and the PHP can actually talk back and forth to a database. And that's essentially where we're going to be heading with all of this. So if you're worrying if we're just going to create HTML pages, no, we won't. We're going to be actually working with databases. We're going to dive into that fairly shortly. And then you're going to actually return that HTML page. Now, hold on for a second. We're going to do more in this course than just HTML. We're actually going to be doing a little alteration here and actually we're going to be working with Flex Builder as well. So why Flex? Because it's going to give you the ability to talk to this database, to talk to PHP, but also build a beautiful uh, user interface. So what we're going to do, we're going to have a PHP back end and a Flex front end. So we'll get to that as we proceed with this series, but we have to start with the basics. So let's start with Hello World. Just real quick, this image actually comes from lynda.com. I've actually been a lynda.com subscriber for years. I love their service. It's $25 a month, and you can watch as many tutorials as you want on many different elements of programming and multimedia. Whenever I get a chance in my series, I actually like to plug Lynda. They don't pay me anything to do that. I just think it's a great service. So, so now that we're done with the operational trail, let's start with uh, building our basic Hello World. So last time I gave you some boilerplate, and we got this boilerplate from last time, and we're actually going to put something inside of those PHP tags, and that's the Hello World. Now, Hello World started with IBM uh, back in the 70s. They started writing programs, and then the, the initial or starting program was always a Hello World, and once you learn how to get there, everything started and running, you're ready to start programming. And what we're going to do is use an echo statement. The echo actually will take this and put it out to our terminal. And we use the little quotes here. It's a string we're going to output. So you typically when you, you do programming and you see these quotes, it typically means a string. And that string will be hello world. And I'm going to end it with a little uh, semicolon. That tells the PHP program, hey, I'm done processing that line of code. Now, if you're running simple code, you may get away with leaving this semicolon off. But as your code becomes more and more complex, your, your computer is going to complain. So I want to urge you to not forget your semicolons. So I just take this program right here. I'm going to copy it. I'm going to open up Notepad. And the reason I'm using Notepad basically is to show you just how easy it is to do this. So you don't get stuck on thinking you have to have a, a real hefty processor. Now, the problem Notepad's going to give you, though, is there's no code hinting and there's no tag coloring. So as your programs get more complex, you're going to have difficulty. But for easy programs like this, hey, it's easy. So we'll call this Lesson 3, Hello World. And we'll save this as Hello World. I'll just put it on my desktop. I'll call it Hello World dot php don't forget that extension and what i'm going to do now is once that's saved on my desktop i'm just going to drag that right over into my uh shortcuts folder so here's my hello world let's drag and drop it right to the shortcuts folder let's open up uh a browser and let's run the program so i'm in my browser i'm just going to type in localhost and remember this is a little different if you're on a mac and then i'm going to type in i already had a previous lesson running so i had a lesson two running so let's go ahead and put uh hello world in there And it's actually going to be dot PHP. And let's, and let's run that and see if it works. And if you look right here in your browser, when you run that program, let's refresh it, you get Hello World. So it worked. And that's all there is in the sense to starting up and running a Hello World program. But, you know, you can't stop there. Let's go on with the lesson do just a few more things. Now, what I want to do is go ahead and open this up in Dreamiverse so you can actually see the uh, code hinting and the coloring. So I'll go back to my uh, course here. And I'll go to my Hello World that I actually dropped in that folder, open that in Dreamweaver, and just take a look at it. And now let's just start uh, adding a few additions. I want to talk about making comments. Uh, and there's a number of ways to make comments. If you make single line comments, you can just use two forward slashes. So we'll say my Hello World. And so basically what that tells the, the process to do is ignore that line of code. So it's commenting. And you're definitely going to want to comment all your code. And let me warn you, if you do production for the web, your, your clients are going to be screaming at you if you don't uh, comment well. So that's for like a single line of code. But if you have a whole paragraph to uh, uh, comment, so that you have to use a slash star followed by a star slash. And that way you can now put paragraphs of, 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 co of comments in there. Okay, and so I could just type a bunch of stuff in there. 
And I have some Lorem Instum on here, a notepad, so I'll go ahead and grab all that. And I can put as much as I want it to inside of that uh, particular block. And the computer doesn't care. It just ignores it all. And you can see, as opposed to a uh, notepad, there's, there's code hinting here. And that helps me to know if I'm actually doing it, writing it correctly or not. So that's ways to make comments. Sometimes you're going to see comments made like this with a pound sign. And that also works, okay? But I actually don't use that. And the reason I don't use that is because these two uh, uh, mechanisms here are fairly common for C++ or Java or PHP or ActionScript. So I like to stick with those because I'm always coding those different environments. So I don't use the pound sign that much. But if you see that, don't freak out. It's also a comment. And now that's how you comment your code. I just want to talk about one more thing, and that's concatenation. And you actually use the period for concatenation. And so what concatenation does is it actually combines things. So let's combine our hello world. So we'll go echo. I'm going to do a, a quotes here. I just put hello. And then I'm going to put a concatenation sign, which is just a dot. And we'll put a little space here, okay? So it's actually going to put it right together, world. So if I actually ran that, it actually put them together, so I need a space. And then we'll just put a little uh, uh, semicolon there. And now we're going to run both of these and see what we get. So go ahead and save this file. Let's go back to my browser. And now let's refresh to Hello World and see what we get. And we see one follows the other. Now I'd like to break that, like get a break between those that have one underneath the other. So this is how you do that. Let's bring back Dreamweaver back up. And what I'm going to do is actually put a break in. So I'm going to use my concatenation again, connect, concatenate. That's just a little dot, a little period. I'll put two quotes in here. Let's just put the HTML break. So BR is the break tag, slash, and close it. And what that's going to do is just insert a break, and then I'll have the line below it. So let's go ahead and run this. File, save. Now you see how fast I'm actually working now that everything's set up correctly. Just save that. Go back to my browser and let's run it. I'll just refresh it. So I click here and just hit the return key. Refresh it. And I see now hello world, hello world. And so that break tag enabled me actually to have pretty much a line break and start a new uh, line. So that's it for hello world. Uh, pretty simple. Let's just review what we did. Today what we did, we actually took our boilerplate, our HTML boilerplate that we had uh, created last time. And in those body tags, we just used the echo tag to echo out hello world to the uh, terminal. And we learned about how to create comments by using a double slash for a single line or using the slash star star slash for an entire paragraph. And then we covered concatenation and using HTML tags. So we concatenated a break so we could have a, another line and we concatenated hello to world so we, could so we could demonstrate how concatenation works. So that's it for hello world. Let's run it one more time. And I'll see you next time.